Hey, this is Guitar Hacker. Welcome to video number two. Um, I'm going to show you a pretty cool cabinet and effect hack you can use with uh, TH3. Or actually, uh, you can really use this with any uh, guitar VST that has a mixer feature in it. And what we're going to do is, um, for, I'm using a basic uh, Marshall-y kind of tone, um, just like a... <laughs> Just an overdriven, uh, pretty cool overdriven tone. If you want to know how that tone's done, you can just uh, go to uh, my first video. I lay it out all there for you. What we're going to do here is uh, I'm actually going to show you how to use uh, the mixer function in this to do some pretty cool cabinet and uh, effects hacks for you. So what we're going to do is down here in the left-hand corner, and you have to bear with me. I don't even have a guitar pick. I'm using my finger. And I'm too much too lazy to find it right now. But grab the, the mixer, and we're going to pull it up right here after the head. And as you can tell, when we do that, what we're supplied with is a splitter. And then we have two channels, and then it goes into a mixer and out into a, 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 a separate signal. So now, let's grab this cabinet, and we're going to pull it in between up top. So what we have now is, it's going to sound kind of funny, and I'll tell you why in a second. Let me just hit a chord here quick. Hear how that kind of sounds corny and just something, there's just something not there. And the reason for that is, is we just split the signal and the top signal's going th and through an actual cabinet and out to your speakers or out to your headphones. And the bottom is just an unprocessed uh, guitar head with no cabinet. So what we're going to do, the M cabinet the vintage cabinet is, is more bassy. It's got a lot more bottom end, which is kind of hard to tell with just this. But here, let me give you an idea here. Let me just push it straight up to the top. Here, has all that bottom end. So what we're going to do to give it a little, we're going to take a cabinet that has, has a good bit of mid-range and uh, a good bit of top end, and we're going to blend the two. So let me find one that's... Uh, I think I like, let's go with this one here. Let's bring this over loud cabinet down here. And uh, let's bring this slider back to center. So now we're going to be playing through both cabinets. And important point I want to give you before I forget, because if I don't do it now, I'm going to forget. Almost no one does this when they use these uh Guitar preamp, VSTs, amp sims, whatever you want to call them. But pick any, wh whoever your guitar hero is or whatever your favorite band is or whatever your favorite rock song is. I can almost guarantee you that that guitar tone was recorded through an American uh, Shure SM57 microphone. I mean, it's every, everybody from Zeppelin, Metallica, Pink Floyd, all the, just, I mean, to this day, it's pretty much the world standard. So the first thing we want to do is we want to double click on the, uh, microphone down here at the bottom and we want to change that to an american 57 i've already done that at the top as you can tell hopefully the video is kind of small okay so now we're going through both cabinets okay so we have a top and a bottom cabinet that have two totally different tonal characteristics to it what we can do now is we can go here to the end and we can blend the two together. So if we pull down a little bit, let's say we pull down halfway towards the bottom cabinet. Here how it takes out some of that bottom end. Let's go back up. Now let's go all the way. Let's go three quarters of the way down. Here how that adds just like a totally different, uh, harmonic and a timber to the sound. And what you can do, you can select between the two if you're not sure on two cabinets that, that you want to, that's your A, B, in, and you know, this is the quickest way to do it. So let's, this is just the bottom cabinet. Okay, and this would be just the top cabinet up top here. Uh, 
And let's get back to We'll Just Be the Bottom. And then we're going to go with a slight blend in between the two. But you hear how that changes your uh, overall tone and uh, characteristics of the sound. This is helpful for if you have a guitar in a mix and something's just not right. It's not really standing out for you. You can use this hack to like just without messing with any EQ or changing the overall equalization of it. You can just use a different cab and mix between the two. And you'll probably be able to find something in between that really just, just cuts through a mix that you're looking for. Now, before we get out of here, this is, this is a short video. I don't want to keep you here too long. And uh, I will eventually play guitar for you one day. I'm just using chords and everything to show you what these sounds actually sound like. And I will have a guitar pick with me next time. But anyway, another cool hack. This is pretty cool. We're going to put it in the center. And uh, so we're going to have, we have a perfect blend between the both, both cadenas. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some effects, but this is pretty cool. I'm going to use, for the top, I'm going to use a delay. So we'll pull that in right after the cabinet, but before the mixer. And on the bottom, I'm gonna pull in a reverb, and we're gonna do the same thing there. I'm gonna pull that down, and as you can tell, we have our cabinets, we have our effects right after the cabinets, and they go into this mixer here. Now, what you can do, as you can see, I have digital delay up top, I have hall reverb on the bottom, and if you notice here in the third column on the mixer, there's a pan uh, control. So we're gonna pan the delay all the way to the left and we're going to go ahead and pan the uh, reverb all the way to the right so basically if you're listening to this through a set of speakers right now the delay is pumping out of one side and the reverb is pumping out of the other and vice versa you don't get there's no bleed in between you have two separate effects coming out of each speaker at the same time from one guitar signal which is pretty badass if you stick your ear to your speaker right now You'll hear one effect. I'm not sure which one, depending on what how your computer's set up. But one speaker, you'll hear a delay coming out of. And then if you put your ear to your other speaker right now and you listen to this, you'll just hear the reverb. And you can do any blend in, be in, be in between, but I'm not going to experiment with that just for the sake of uh, brevity and to keep the video a little short. But let's let's mess with the cabin a little bit. Let's put a little more top end on it. Let's get down towards the other one. Okay, so pretty cool. Just to recap, pull the mixer in, put two cabinets of totally different timbers in between. Use your, always use your SM57s because that's just great rock tone, period. And rock, metal, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's just the way it is. It's all, you, can't, you just can't get a better mic to amp than a Shure 57. That's just my personal opinion. And uh, pull in your effects. And like I said, if you, <clears throat> you can use separate effects on each one. And you can also, if you don't want to pan them, that's fine too. But you can just put them at the end if you're not going to pan them. But just two cool hacks. You can put two different effects in each different speaker. And uh, if you really want to get crazy, there's a lot of other stuff we can do, but that's going to be for uh, another time down the road. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great. Love to have you here. This is Guitar Hacker. My name's Pat. Thanks for being here. I'll talk to you again soon. Over and out.